Hey everyone, welcome back to the Super Auto Pets test build where we have 55 new pets. Kind of cracked, I know. Um, now you do faint, which does scare me. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze that. I'm going to re-roll. I want a tanky unit like... Start of turn. I don't want that. Start of turn. I'll take the frog. And I'm going to give health to... You'll be four and six. No, you'll just be two and six. You're going to give one and three to the frog. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Such a weird thing to have that panda build, but we'll try it. Let's go for the uh, let's go for the adorable ears. The adorable ears. Let's go. Let's go. This is the moist arms. Okay, we're in trouble. Crab is sorry. The frog is maybe not as strong as I would have thought. Okay, it's fine. There's another panda though. We can do the double panda thing and just feed this guy a lot. Um, give a random strawberry friend plus one plus two. So if we give this to the panda, we buy the kiwi. We then sell the kiwi. Check that out. That guy's now tanky. There's two more pandas there. There's a peach. Okay, it's going to be just feeding this frog with pandas. The frog's probably not the best person to do it as well. Okay. Frog is only six and seven. But he is going to get a draw. We need a, a better unit at the front of a decent ability. And then we can just stack pandas behind it. At least that's my idea anyway. Going to give some health to this panda. Sell. Or oh, we have to merge some pandas here to get this guy on. Summon a level one pet from your previous shop tier. No. Um... I'm going to freeze that guy. I'm going to freeze the peach as well. I am realizing that we're just going to be giving a lot of HP to the uh, the frog and not really any attack. And that's going to be an issue because we haven't got any other pets. I've also realized that the pandas... There we go. He's 7 and 10. It's just not going to work out this way. Okay, we have to start merging the pandas, I think. There was a dream. There was a dream. It didn't work out too well. Let's uh, merge these pandas. Let's give the kiwi. Let's sell the kiwi. When this guy faints, he gives a strawberry friend plus one plus one. I'll give, give it to you, but you're already going to be dead. Um, I suppose we can just make this guy a bit healthier, maybe. At the start of battle, give plus two plus two to a strawberry friend. We can get you for now, but I'm not too keen. We are going to need another pet as well, because I want to merge these into a level two next turn, maybe. Go for the servers to connect. Please don't do this now. Not when I'm recording a video, please. Okay, he's in the game. Nice. We're going to keep the peach. I've re-rolled. Oh, we're struggling with servers right now. I think everybody's probably discovered that the new pack is out. Um, we'll freeze the hummingbird. I get it's a tier one. Got a pretty bad build at the minute. The frog is very bad. I need better attack i think up on the frog right now because he's only going to be five and i don't know what's he going to be like a seven and ten or something like that seven and twelve maybe if we're lucky let's have a look okay so the hummingbird should straight away buff that panda and that panda will then faint and buff the frog this guy's only got three pits i feel like that frog's not getting the full panda buff maybe maybe that's just me Okay, there's definitely time to merge the pandas because we are struggling. Let's get you on the board though. Okay. Um, right, let's let's merge you guys. I'm gonna freeze you for a second. I'm gonna buy the kiwi. Who's gonna buff the panda? Give 100% of pandas attack and health to a friend, then faint. That's nice. Let's then get rid of the kiwi because he'll buff the panda. Nice. Let's then get the hummingbird i'm just gonna put the second one on for now because we really can't afford um we, we can't afford another pet if we merge those so i'm gonna freeze both peaches i'm gonna re-roll i'm looking for two more pandas really here i still want to get a better frog like the frog is not the the kind of you know one at the front of this fight even with the stats from the panda i don't think he's gonna be that good although he does look really cool and he's he's sad and i'd like him to be 
you know, this big unit and to turn that frown upside down for the frog, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Um, let's get the panda for sure. We could just put this guy on it and then... Oh, that's just at the start of battle. So that means they won't stay as a level 3. That's interesting. Okay, we'll ignore that then. Um, deal 2 damage for each friendly strawberry pet. That's not going to work this game, is it? We need to find 2 pets. Because the panda's going to get merged. The hummingbirds are going to get merged. We need to figure that out pretty soon. We, we haven't got a win. <laughs> we haven't got a trophy yet with this build. It was very stupid of me, I guess. Okay, servers are playing now. I suppose this is the issue with playing on the test server. God damn it. I like how the music still plays though. Here we go. Right, we're up against the wet geezers. Here we go. Okay, a 10 and 20 frog isn't that bad, to be fair. Although he's, he's got a weakness. So yeah, we just, oh, we've just been shredded. We've been absolutely shredded. I don't know what's going on half the time, but all I know is that we got given weakness. What gives weakness? Oh, the toad. Enemy pushed or hurt, make it weak. That's got to be the strat then. The early seahorse, the early toad, the early iguana. We missed that in yesterday's video. I didn't actually realize what the toad did. That takes us down to two lives. So one loss and we're out. So I really need to get something working here. So once this loads, I want to get the two pandas merged together. Nice. I would very much like to buy this um, kiwi and then sell the kiwi. Because it will buff the panda, which gives all of its stats to the frog. Which, thinking about it, is kind of really bad. Like, you could have just buffed a frog. You know what I mean? But we could have just put the strawberry on the frog and just buffed the frog. And then we wouldn't have to have a pet faint. Which is why I think the pandas are so weird. Also, this is really upsetting me. How long is it taking? Okay, let's uh, get the other panda on the board. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Okay, kiwi's going on. We then sell the kiwi straight away. We really could do with a, another pet, but I think I'm going to go for the peach root, maybe. Okay, um, give strawberry faint. That's when you faint. So that's not going to work with this build because he's going to faint first. I'm just going to give health to the panda at this point. I'm going to re-roll and I'm going to re-roll. Keeping the peach frozen, of course, because I want to give this guy HP. The attack is definitely an issue. Toad wouldn't work in this build. Okay. If we somehow manage to get through this, which I doubt we will, because we're going to have three pets. Um, two of which are the weakest thing in the world. Um... I'm just committed to pandas and frog and that's it. Here we go. The adorable ears versus doo -doo -doo, the huge buttocks. Here we go. Come on, big frog. They've got a panda as well. It's not as big as our panda though. Yeah, this frog's got it on lock, you know. We just got to win. Got our first trophy, albeit I think they did kind of nice us there and give us a pretty bad team, but... This is the strat, guys. This is the actual strat. Oh, my God. Start of battle, gain 50% bonus health. That's only one HP. Summon two level one ants. See, this is kind of cool, but what use is that going to be? I don't know what any use any of this is going to be, to be honest. Give a pet plus four, minus two. I'm thinking, is that going to be good for him? Or for him? Okay, just gives him a little bit more attack, doesn't it? He can get the health back in two turns with the cucumber. This is still a really bad build. Why didn't I just buy more pets? Okay, oh my god, look at this guy. I love the orangutan. Oh, well, that was a loss. They just completely destroyed our frog. Right, let's try something different next build. Let's not do the uh, the four panda strat. Um, they have given me a strawberry, though. Upgrade shop tier, give the two pets behind, plus one health. Sell, replace food shop with one free apple that gives plus one, plus one. Sell, give rightmost shop pet, plus one, plus one. Right, I've got a strat here. Okay. 
You all ready for my strat? Oh, it does give me another baby duck. Okay, I was going to... Okay. Here is my very ridiculous strat. Do I want to keep the iguana, maybe? If I sell you, you're just going to buff that duck now. So that's an issue I didn't really want. I guess we just have to buy somebody. This is definitely a loss. I had a strat and it didn't pay out because I re-rolled. Um, yeah, the clumsy presidents, dude. Let's go. I, I need to like see a good build and copy it because I really am struggling right now. I was about to say we win this until that guy got buffed by the hummingbird, of course. Imagine getting that build straight away. I wouldn't mind that. You know what I would like? A seahorse. Oh, I should have definitely... You know what? Let's sell the baby ducks right now. Let's buff. Let's buff this iguana. Okay, nice. Three and five. Uh, I'm then going to give you... Two HP as well. And I'm actually going to ignore the, uh, the frog. What I'm going to do instead is... When we re-roll successfully after the server reconnects oh, i'm so sorry guys i guess this is the price we have to pay if i want to pay, play on the test server though which i do really badly want to play on the test server oh my god there's a second iguana oh my god there's a second seahorse we're going to freeze both but right now we're going to sell the mouse we're going to put this iguana on the board so we deal two damage when something gets pushed by the seahorse and we're going to use our free apple on the iguana pretty soon um, just gotta wait, you know, for the servers. This is really sad. Why did I have to record at this time? Servers were fine earlier when I recorded the first video. <laughs> so sad. Come on, servers. You can do it. Don't let me down. Don't let the video down. I feel like half of this video is going to be spent waiting. I could cut it out, but I don't really have time for that. So I could just scrap the recording. Oh, there we go. Um... Let's use our free apple to give this guy plus one plus one. We'll freeze the seahorse. Now, can it find us a game? <laughs> By the way, you can play this in the browser, which I didn't know was a thing. So this is like the test build. It's a version of the game in browser on itch.io. It's free. All of the pets, all of the new pets, all the expansion packs are free. So you can come and play it. It's a test build, though, so none of your progress saves or anything like that. But it's really fun to play uh, and just try out new things. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here we go. The Clumsy Presidents versus the Creamy Hipsters. I hate that. I feel like these have got no people that push back. They've got three iguanas, but they've got no seahorses yet. They need some seahorses, but I respect I respect the the, uh, the build. Okay, let's get another seahorse then. I'm going to give this guy that thing, and then I'm going to give him a cucumber as well. I'm not going to merge these together, because when they fight, they push, so we can get two people to push here. I'm going to get some more peaches. I really like the peaches because of the HP, and I really like HP, but everyone's got so such low attack. Everyone's got such low attack, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's so sad. The clumsy Presidentes. Come on, guys. Come on. Just the two of us. Actually, there's two seahorses and two iguanas. I would like a third of both to make level twos. Or maybe level... Oh, I don't even know if I would, you know. No, would I want level twos right now? Still a weak build. You know, we've, we've got a tank on the way, but we need, we need some attack on him as well. But Oh, here we go. Pretty even seahorses here. This is going to be interesting. They're going to push each other. Or not. They're going to push... Oh, they push random pets, I guess. Here we go again. Oh, hang on. That's a really big... As well, that's a really big iguana. I'm glad we traded. But he's actually going to win this trade. Oh, we get a draw. I'm happy with a draw there. I was expecting a lot worse at a certain point during that battle. So that's a big play. Okay, we'll take a draw. So we got one win, one loss, and a draw. Um, 
No. Every time I think the servers are speeding up a little bit, they just stick me straight back into the loading screen. Okay. Um, just try to tank this iguana up a little bit. Give a pet plus two health. And again. See if you can find a fifth pet. Um... Um, I'm just going to get this for a fifth pet for now. It's going to damage itself and it's going to be kind of useless, but I feel like we need a fifth pet. We're really weak. We've got an iguana that's got a lot of HP and no attack. We're so weak, dude. I need to get some attack from somewhere. I feel like all the attack food items are like gain four attack, lose HP, which isn't too bad if you've got a cucumber and you've already got a 16 HP, I suppose, but still. Oh, hummingbird's going to kill both of our seahorses. I don't like that. Okay, nice. You know what, though? He's doing really well, considering he's only got four attack. I can't wait to merge them. The situation is right now, I don't know what, like, I feel like I'm only finding, like, duo combinations of pets. Like, I found the iguana and the thing. Oh, no, we need a toad. Right? A toad does when an enemy is pushed... Makes them weak. That could be like very helpful. So we need a toad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a toad. That's what I want in the build next. That's the thing. I need to find comps. I don't really want to get any pets that don't fit the build right now. It's like a lot of them are strawberry pets. We don't really have any strawberry things going on. That's a frog, not a toad. Not really what I want. Replace food. So when we sell you, replace the food shop. Honestly, let's uh, let's merge these guys. Let's get the mouse. Okay. Sell the mouse. It's going to give us an apple. Which I'm just going to give to this iguana again. I think the apple gives you plus one attack plus health. So that'll be a little bit of attack for the iguana. Which will be nice. Come on. Come on. Okay, we sell the mouse. Takes just as long to sell the mouse as it does to buy the mouse. Oh, there's our apple. Let's give that to the iguana. Nice. Let's re-roll. This is like a five-minute waiting period. I'm not going to give up, though, I believe. Oh, that's the start of battle ability. I don't think it, we do. No, that's, that's a shame. Um, I'm going to try and avoid the whole guinea pig thing as well. We could give this guy a shrimp. He's going to get his HP back from the cucumber. So just get his attack up a little bit, maybe. Maybe that's the idea. Please. Well, this might be the worst video you've ever watched. I'm going to get this re-roll. I mean, re-roll. Wow, when I breath before it actually uh, finished re-rolling. Um, I'm going to have to scrap this. I don't want to scrap it, though. I don't want to scrap the video, dude. I don't want to scrap it. we got a 10 and 16 iguana. Oh, hello. Oh, my God, there's a toad. So when an enemy is pushed or hurt, make it weak. I think we want this on the team. Oh, my God, it sounded like me a minute ago. Right. Um, honestly, I'm thinking the goat... Game plus one and plus one until end of battle when we roll. Oh, it's only till end of battle. Okay. Friend sold. If I had a sale ability, start of battle deal. Okay. Let's just end the turn. This guy's going to die next turn, so ideally we need to sell him and replace him. Here we go. So I see horses are really weak, by the way. Probably do somebody else that pushes pretty soon. Right, do they get weak? Oh, we've just been upset. Oh, hang on. Oh my god. I'll take a draw there, you know. I'm happy with a draw. That was kind of not good. 
I'm starting to realize, yes, we've got a very strong iguana. Our seahorses suck. Um, we don't have any strawberry friends, I'm afraid. Do I want that? Minus two attack plus four health? I really don't. No broccoli, please. I'd maybe take some more shrimp. There's another toad. That's not a toad. That's not a toad we want. Start of battle. I don't want that, though. We could give this to some people. I need to sell this guy. There's a seahorse. I like the seahorses. I like that. There's another toad. Do I want another toad? If we sell you, I guess we're going to have to just get another toad now. Doesn't make sense to have two toads, in all fairness. I just want something different, dude. I'm struggling here to understand what most of these do. Like, set attack to one, start of turn. So whatever his attack is, it just sets it to one. Like, it's so confusing. Deal one damage to two pits ahead. I, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to take any of these pets. <laughs> I feel like maybe like a strawberry build is like the only early game build you can really do. Okay, so... The fact that the toads make the enemies weak after the 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 dude has fired his shot. The iguana has fired his shot is weird. Oh my god. A blobfish? Faint, give friend behind one experience. That's really cool. Friends level up, give it plus two, plus one. No, we'll get that. Let's let's try that out for a bit. Um Oh, the orangutan. Give the lowest health pet. Honestly, that's a strat and a half. Let's get this guy in here. What does this guy do? Give three other pets with no food perks. Plus one, plus one. No food perks. Okay, that's going to be like... Oh, yeah, food perks, I guess. Do I want to keep you there? Or do I want to put you... Nah, let's, let's leave you there. I would kind of like to give you some more HP, though. Another clownfish. Right, we need to start upgrading some people now so the clownfish will buff them. The orangutan is going to start scaling the whole team very slowly by just buffing the lowest health enemy at the end of each turn. So probably be the toad next, which should be nice. Now, does the toad do that because he is... I'm trying to figure this out. Does the toad fire those things out because he is behind the iguanas if we were to swap them around like that would that help i'm going to do this again to the iguana as well he gets his health back quite fast with the cucumber there's an orangutan i'm thinking do i want to give health to the orangutan don't really care right there you go look he's healed the the little toad so let's have a look now if the toad makes people weak before the iguana shoots because that'd be a lot more helpful although the iguana's not even level two i've just realized okay no he doesn't Toad still shoots before the iguana. I mean, the iguana still shoots before the toad. I can live with this. So that's five trophies, everybody. Velociraptor start a battle. Give coconut to one random strawberry friend. It's all strawberry based, this build. Which isn't going well for me. Give three random pets plus two attack. Nice. Um... I'm going to give this to the orangutan. He's pretty even now. So we can get, get his health up again. Then we'll do it again, I guess. Okay, there goes, oh, there goes our toad straight away. Oh, no. This is starting to look a little bit spooky now, actually. Oh, you know what? Orangutan's actually massive. Nice, it's our sixth trophy. Oh my god. We can do this. Um, iguana. Yes, level two iguana finally. Oh, the clownfish buffs him as well. An ostrich. Dude, there's so many pets in this build. End turn, give plus one and plus one to one pet behind. Multiply buff by the lowest shop tier. We've got a tier one, haven't we? Yeah, we've got two tier ones. Then by Stu instead. Buffs the front three units, I guess. Ooh. Do I need to use this right now? 
Yeah, let's go for it. Give him some more attack. He's, like I said, he's going to get his HP back slowly with Cucumber. Oh, dude, this is... If we can get the Orangutan upgraded, his scaling is, like, very nice to have. I'm sad there's no armor, though, because, like, the Seahorse, I would like to survive, but he's so weak. At least he trades there, though. If he, he gets a kill and he pushes somebody. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that red guy. He doesn't get pushed, so he doesn't get weak. Yeah, we don't kill that guy. And he's just fortune cookied all of us. He just did, like, 72 damage to somebody. That takes down to six hearts, so two losses and we're out. Do we need to fortune cookie somebody? Oh my god, it's Diego from Ice Age. Um, this is going to be better than a cucumber, so we're going to give that to you. Summon it. Oh, sorry, if you knock somebody out, summon a level one copy of the knocked out pet. No. I just want some level twos right now, really. A level two orangutan, especially. Two found a clownfish. Maybe the clownfish first, and then the orangutan and the toad, just so they get a bit of buff by the clownfish. And the servers have gone back to not working. They were working so well for the last few minutes. Well, there's the seahorse. Not really what I was going for, but we'll take it. And then I think the taco give three random pets plus two attack. Oh, dude. The servers were, they were, they were going strong for a good five minutes then. That's sad. Okay, nice. 23 and 20 Iguana. I want to get this guy upgraded. I feel like he could scale so well if he was level 2, level 3. He just buffs the lowest health enemy every turn. He's just going to keep buffing the, the Toad and the Clownfish and then the Seahorse and everyone gets buffed. Oh my god. Dude, five Orangutans on the same team just buffing each other. Oh my god. There's so many fun builds you can do with this. I feel like I need to play uh, Versus to get those though. Dude, I'm hype. I'm actually hype. Here we go. The improper beavers. Okay, Seahorse. I suppose he gets two kills, but the Saber Tooth Tiger is kind of strong now. And they've pushed him back. Oh, this doesn't work well for us. They've pushed our guy that, got, that pushes people back. Which is kind of like how we do most of our damage. Oh, they've added a weak. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Clownfish. Go on. Go on, Nemo. Thank you for the uh, the kill. That was a win. Um, how many trophies does that take us to now? Oh my god, seven trophies. Three more to go. Oh my god, level 2 orangutan. He's going to give the lowest health pet plus 2 plus 4 now. Oh my god, he does. Absolute unit. Friend faints. Give random friend plus 2 plus 2. Going to re-roll here instead. Oh, I'll actually take a taco, you know. Give three random friends plus 2 plus 2. Nice. Gave it to the orangutan. Um, I feel like no one else really needs minus health right now. So I'm going to ignore the shrimp. I'm going to re-roll. Try and free some other things. A hot dog. Give two random pets plus four attack. I'm going to freeze that. That's pretty cool. I feel like I need like some like a level two toad. Level two clownfish. Level three seahorse. Like, hello. Oh my god, there's a level two clownfish. That's nice. That's next turn. Nice. Toad got buffed. 25 and 22 iguana. Is that going to be enough? Um, not too sure. The generated dummies. Here we go. He's got two dinosaurs. Okay, Seahorse does kill one of them and pushes the other one. Oh no. Oh, we're fine. Let's, right, wait, did that guy summon anybody? No, we're fine. Let's go. It's eight trophies. Two more to go. Oh, dude. Check this out. Level up the clownfish, right? He doesn't buff himself, which is a shame. But then, level three Seahorse. Right? And then, probably going to want both of these, really, aren't we? But... I'm going to freeze both of these for now. I'm going to use the hot dog first. Give two random pets plus four attack. Nice. And then... Summon a random pet from the same tier after fainting. That could be good, you know. Base stats. I feel like we need something on these guys. We've only got one item. Like a fortune cookie on the gorilla. He could do 40 damage. 
you know? There's no point putting popcorn on like the seahorse because it's tier one. So maybe it's like a fortune cookie on them too. Or some scaling item like a carrot. We need something though. Here we go, the clumsy presidents versus the generated dummies. Seahorse gets a kill here. I guess two kills. Let's go, seahorse. Oh, hang on. Some fish have been spawned. I don't quite like this. Oh, I really don't like this. What's happened here? Oh, no, dude. We lose. I don't know what happened there. These guys just summon loads of fish. That takes us down to three hearts. Oh, my God. Start of turn, gain one gold per level three pet. Honestly, it just looks incredible. Give a pet pepper. Health does not go under one. Removed after taking damage. Which means this guy could maybe get two hits off. Is that the most important thing? Because he only pushes when he's... When he faints. So I don't feel like that's important. I'll get Taco. I'll get that. I'm gonna freeze the Nemo for now. Oh, dude. I'll get Nemo. What I really wanted there was, a, I think, fortune cookies. I think they're probably the best way to go for those front kind of free units. In fact, I think the fortune cookies are probably the best for everybody apart from the iguana right now. I'm also very aware the iguana and the seahorse strategy is very weak and it's tier one. But we've got to eight trophies. I kind of just want to see what we can do with it. We're playing with a new expansion pack. Please do not berate me in the comments like you all usually do. I know I'm bad at the game. Just having a bit of fun with some new pets, guys. Please. But... I don't know, it works pretty well. I just think the seahorse... Like, he's level 3, right? I just don't think it's that good. Like, he, what, he pushes the enemy's free spaces back. I feel like he should push more enemies, if anything. Okay, can we find a game, please? Looking for opponent. So is that not the servers being down? That's actually us trying to find an opponent. That's kind of sad. I thought everybody would be playing this evening because the, uh, the new pack... Maybe they are and the servers are broke. It's one or the other. I think it's the servers because we've had issues in other parts of the game tonight. I just don't want to give up just yet. Oh, the server monkeys are slow to respond. Hold on. Come on, as long as you don't abandon my game, I'll be happy. We can do this. We've got a big iguana, guys. Maybe I should, maybe I should actually reposition the team a little bit. I can't do it right now, of course, because we're in the searching mode, but Oh, here we go. Found an, found an opponent, which is the sizzling eruptions. That's a really big starfish right at the front. And he's got a fortune cookie, but he's been made weak, which is nice. He does die. The frog will kill him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait, no. They summon two ants. No, we lose. No. We had that. Wait, they've got the bow. Isn't that bow just made for the developer's mother, I think? It's a guest. Well, that's really sad, guys. Anyway, I thought we really got there then. Um, but wow, that was... I actually really like this, like this pack. Like, there's a few things to figure out. There's a lot of strawberry things, which I think might be a little bit over the top. It feels like if you don't go strawberry build then you have to go scaling that's kind of the only two kind of builds you can go at the minute but um we're gonna learn loads right so many pets you haven't bought yet but that'll do for today i do apologize for the amount of content in this video because we got delayed by the servers um i could cut it out but the truth is i haven't got time tonight i've got a pre-record before i go away so hope you all understand uh, but i also hope you enjoyed the video still um if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do stay tuned in for more new super auto pets content and uh, make sure you do all the usual youtube stuff and follow me on twitch and twitter and all that good stuff but until next time goodbye